We recently received Halo 3 ODST flighting update talking about what's holding it back and when can we expect public flighting along with what kind of content we can have with this flight like Halo 3 improvements and Season 3 content. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out this channel. It helps more people get a chance to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the content here. As we get every Friday, a development update going on with the MCC and today they're talking about a little bit about the Halo 3 ODST flying. As the previous Friday we got a big boy update which we made previous videos on talking about the MCC as a whole, Halo 3 hit detection and things like that which we will begin into that on this channel as well they had a very in-depth look when it comes to improving the hit detection when it comes to halo 3 so we'll definitely dedicate its own separate video to that for right now we're talking about odst and the flighting process and as of right now odst is not ready for public flighting for ring 3 and that's because well they did some changes with odst to make it just a better experience because they added in matchmaking for firefight this is the first time we've ever had matchmaking in firefight which i'm super excited about it's one of the things that actually kind of held me back from really enjoying Firefight in the first place is because there was no way to just randomly match up with players when I wanted to play because it's kind of hard to get three other people together that want to do just some PV action. Well, at the time, you had Halo 3 at its peak back then on the 360, so a lot of people just wanted to play the multiplayer then. So I'm really excited that they're doing this, though apparently it has come across some issues. And going to quoting postums here saying, Ring 1 has identified critical networking issues that we are working to improve at this time. As soon as those get squashed though, we'll be ready to go. We are hopeful to start the flight as early as next week. But as a reminder, sometimes things can take time. So stay tuned for more news. Was post some just low key like plug in my channel right there at the end? No, I'm, not, I'm just I'm just saying, just throwing it out there. But all seriousness though, yeah. So it seems like the networking when it comes to making the ODST firefight matchmaking compatible has had some issues. Now we do know that they were planning to have flighting happen in the first half of August, which was stated previously. And it seems like they're on track to do that. Uh, they do say like if they're able to figure this issue out, which seems like they probably have a good grasp on what they can fix it up about, then they'll be ready to release it out to the public for Ring 3 flighting, which guaranteed guys, I'll be releasing a ton of content about ODST. If you want to catch that, make sure you subscribe to the channel guys. They also mentioned about how in this flight, they're looking to potentially do some Halo 3 3 content as well as season 3 as we've seen from the previous development update is going to be bringing a bunch of different weapons and weapon skins into Halo 3 which is pretty dang exciting there. Though this flight will be primarily focused on firefight as that's the part that really needs some work on obviously they want to test out the campaign which we will get into later in this video what kind of content to expect for this flight uh, but they do mention how they're also going to have some halo 3 quality of life improvements as well as an early look in season 3 content so guys like i said make sure you follow the channel if you want to check out those content as soon as it comes out now if you missed a previous video of mine we did go actually go into some detail about what we're going to be seeing for the flight content for odsc but i got buried in a video so i figured since we're talking about the odsc flight might as well talk about it in here as well so we're talking about new customization options available in the ODST, uh, firefight matchmaking as well as custom games with firefight theater mode as well. We're also going to begin some campaign missions as well, campaign mi missions like Mombasa Streets, Terry Plaza, Uplift Reserve, New Mombasa PD Headquarters, Data Hive, and Coastal Highway. We'll also be receiving some campaign playlists to kind of mess around with that a little bit as well because obviously ODST is a little bit more of an open world kind of experience so that would make sense. We also obviously we're going to have Firefight which we have different kind of maps. We have uh, Crater Knight, Rally Knight, Crater, Lost Platoon, Windward, Chasm 10, as well as Last Exit with a player list being Firefight Heroic and Firefight Arcade. My biggest thing with this is that I really hope that with Firefight Heroic that it gives you that sense of uh, survival that we had in the original Firefight. Reach's Firefight is good, the networking is great, and the game modes are fun, but it's much more arcadey and much more about like getting the highest score possible. Where I always felt like with ODST's Firefight, if you completed all the waves, that was an achievement. Like I always felt more based on survival and the odds against you kind of thing, where if you finished it, you're actually quite you know, please, and that was an accomplishment in itself. We're like in in Reach Firefight for Heroic, it's just kind of like, 
Oh, we didn't complete that? That's kind of a shame. We should have been able to do that. I would also assume that we would also have the nice frame rate that we have in Halo 3 for the unlimited frame rates on that, which looks uh, looks in place super well. I would assume we probably have the same experience when it comes to ODST as, you know, it's built on the exact same engine. Uh, I think, though, that with ODST, they gave it a little bit better field of view as obviously Halo 3 desperately needed that on console. And so we can definitely expect that kind of experience when it comes to playing ODST see that you'll have just the smoothest of frame rates it's gonna look great like honestly like when i play halo 3 on 60 frames when i have to lock my frames for sometimes i could definitely tell the difference when it comes to 60 frames to unlimited frames it's way nicer so that about does it for this news and informational video if you liked it make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it check out the videos on the screen right over here i got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out